A cooler change is with us. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. We are tracking this cooler change across Wednesday in the South Island and it moves right up and across the North Island on Thursday. But we'll kick off with the animated wind map for Wednesday and you can see that cooler change coming into the South Island with that southerly. So temperatures are dropping and the eastern side of the country for the next day or two will be seeing temperatures dropping down below normal as a result of that change coming on in. But the north, not quite so impacted by it. So we kick off on Thursday, you can see that big high pressure belt rolling on in, uh, the temperatures are dropping, and up here around the eastern North Island, just remember, in Wairoa, up here in Northern Hawke's Bay, it was 30 degrees on Monday. The high on Thursday is around 11, 12, maybe 13, maybe 14 in the more sheltered parts of the region. So that's a you know 15 to 19 degree temperature drop from where you just were. So that's quite a big drop. Uh, the high is coming into the south, so that means frosty weather will be returning. Please visit ruralweather.co.nz. We've got a frost forecaster. Um, and if you don't want to use that, stick with Weather Watch, the website that is, and you can click on the maps area, and we've got the below zero temperature map, which is very helpful. We're going to enhance it next year by putting um, um, areas around below zero that will be down to one and two that will give you that kind of um, borderline look as well. So you can find that in the maps and radars section of the Weather Watch website and it will go into the app as well. We just need a little bit more time and resources to do that. Let's go to Friday. So the high moves in and over the South Island, that's why frosty weather is likely, but there's also a mild and northerly kicking in during the day. So after your cooler change this week, it warms up again by Friday afternoon. In the north, it also starts to warm up. The winds turn around from being southeasters to nor'easters. That will push temperatures up, especially in the west and down here towards Manawatu, Fielding, places like that. Your temperatures will start to lift and probably even get above average as a result of well, it's a little bit like a nor'easter in Canterbury, except for you, it's a nor'easter coming down over those hills and ranges. And maybe a couple of showers up here overnight and into the morning, otherwise drying out. So let's go through now into the weekend. Saturday, you've got the nor'easters continuing on in the North Island. They'll be turning more nor'west or northerly in the lower North Island and more nor'west across the South Island. So that will be pushing temperatures up above average and many places are dry, just maybe a couple of light showers up here in the very north. As we go to Sunday, not a great deal of change, although the winds pick up in the South Island, that will lift your temperatures. So it gets even warmer on Sunday with the blustery nor'westers coming through and some of them are subtropical fueled, goes off the screen. So it'll be nice and mild, warmer than average on Sunday, making up for the cool change that we're having right now or are just about to have. And our final map is for Monday and it shows high pressure dominating around the North Island. It shows the mild winds coming out of the subtropical region and into parts of the South Island and North Island. The West Coast has got some rain. In fact, the West Coast, um, especially North Westland, is leaning wetter than average. It's the only part of New Zealand in the next seven days that is even around average or above average rainfall. Everyone else, including New Southland, leaning drier than normal for the next week. So I think Southlanders will be happy with that, but those up around Auckland, frustrating. I mean, this water crisis is not getting better at the moment, it's getting worse, which means we all have to keep up with the water restrictions, short showers, don't use your hose outside, don't wash the car, things like that. We've got to conserve water. If we don't do a good job of it now, and we don't get rain over the next few months, this summer could be quite a tough one. So we do need to be um, conservative with our water use and hope that we get one of these you know, subtropical rainmakers. La Nina should be making some of those as we go into the next couple of months ahead. So that's the positive silver lining that I can end on is that we're hopeful we'll get a rainmaker, but just for now, the forecast is looking pretty dry for northern New Zealand. For more details, ruralweather.co.nz. It's the world's largest weather data website for New Zealand. So check that out, ruralweather.co.nz. We will see you again tomorrow with the very latest.